Hey there, science fans. Welcome to another exciting journey into the world of science. Have you ever wondered why balls bounce? It's a question that might seem simple at first glance, but the answer takes us on a wild ride through the fascinating world of physics, where every bounce tells a story. From basketballs soaring through the air with grace and precision, to bouncy balls lighting up a child's eyes with joy and wonder, the physics of bouncing balls is all around us, in every playful moment and athletic feat. So, what makes a ball bounce? It's a question that leads us to the heart of physics. It's all about energy, the ability to do work, and how it's transferred and transformed. When a ball falls, it's not just dropping. It's converting potential energy into kinetic energy, a beautiful dance of forces. And when it hits the ground, that's when the magic happens. That's where the real fun begins. The energy is transferred back, causing the ball to bounce up again. Get ready to explore the forces that make bouncing balls so amazing. Join us as we dive deeper into this incredible phenomenon. Imagine stretching a rubber band. You can feel the energy building up, right? That's elastic potential energy. Now let go. Whoosh! The rubber band snaps back, releasing that stored energy. Bouncing balls work in a similar way. When a ball hits a surface, it compresses, storing energy like a spring. This stored energy is called elastic potential energy. The more the ball compresses, the more elastic potential energy it stores. And guess what? That stored energy wants to be released. We all know gravity, that invisible force that keeps our feet on the ground. But did you know gravity plays a key role in how high a ball bounces? As the ball falls, gravity pulls it downwards, giving it speed and energy. This energy is then transferred into elastic potential energy upon impact and back into kinetic energy as the ball bounces back up. The higher the fall, the more energy the ball has and the higher it can bounce. Section 4. Bouncing off the walls, surfaces and materials. Ever notice how a ball bounces differently on different surfaces? It's fascinating to see how the type of surface can change the dynamics of a simple bounce. A tennis ball on a hard court takes a high bounce, while the same ball on grass barely gets off the ground. This difference is due to the varying levels of energy absorption and return. That's because the surface plays a big role in how much energy is transferred during the bounce. When a ball hits a surface, some of its energy is absorbed, and some is returned, propelling the ball back up. Hard surfaces like concrete are less likely to deform, meaning they return more of the ball's energy. This results in a higher, more energetic bounce. Softer surfaces like grass absorb more of the ball's energy, resulting in a lower bounce. The energy is dissipated into the softer material, causing the ball to lose height. The material of the ball matters too. Different materials can affect how much energy is absorbed or returned, influencing the height and speed of the bounce. So next time you play, think about how both the surface and the ball material are working together to create that perfect bounce. Section 5. The Bounce That Slows Down. Energy Loss in Action. When you drop a ball, it bounces back up, but not to the same height. Here's the thing about bouncing balls. They don't bounce forever. With each bounce, the height decreases. Each bounce gets a little lower than the last. Why? Because energy isn't lost. It just changes form. This is a fundamental principle of physics. Some of the ball's energy is converted into heat and sound as it collides with the ground. You can even feel the warmth if you touch the ball after several bounces. This energy loss means there's less energy available to propel the ball back up, which is why the bounce height reduces, resulting in a lower bounce. Over time, the energy continues to dissipate. The ball will eventually come to a stop. This demonstrates the principle of energy conservation and transformation in a simple, observable way. Section 6. Keep on bouncing, 
the science behind the fun. So there you have it, the amazing physics of bouncing balls. From elastic potential energy to gravity, surfaces, and energy loss, understanding these concepts helps us appreciate the science behind this simple yet fascinating phenomenon. Next time you see a bouncing ball, remember the forces at play and the energy transformations happening right before your eyes. Keep exploring, keep asking questions, and keep on bouncing.